impressive mega projects in Kigali, Rwanda. Rwanda's construction industry is seeing extraordinary growth, with growth rates ranging from 5.9% in 2020 to 13.8% in 2021, making Rwanda's construction industry one of the fastest growing in Africa. And it's expected to grow even more over the next decade as private and non-private investment for infrastructure projects continues to flow in, aided by the federal government's clear working environment. Rwanda's capital Kigali's importance to the country and to East and Central Africa has created a huge demand for the development of large projects to meet the country's growing population and demand, while Rwanda's business-friendly environment is attracting major global manufacturers and organizations to set up shop in Kigali. Kigali, a regional business and tourism hub, holds hundreds of international conferences, sports events, cultural events, and globally recognized events each year, attracting a large number of visitors. Rwanda is undertaking a number of projects in order to update the city's transportation and ICT infrastructure, provide enough housing infrastructure, attract additional funding sources, and transform Rwanda's economic system into a sustainable knowledge-based economy. Stay with us as we take a tour of Kigali's most astounding mega-projects. 10. Kikukiro Bugesser Expansion Road The first phase of a 13.8-kilometer Kigali Bugesser Road expansion project is planned to be finished this year. Despite the ongoing expropriation process, road construction is approaching Nyanza Kikukiro. The route will have a four-lane expressway as well as beautifying features such as a separating line with pom-poms, grass, and street lighting. We expect traffic to increase once the airport is operating, therefore the extension is in accordance with the development of new Bugesera International Airport, says the company. 9. Bugesera International Airport Rwanda's Bugesera International Airport is a construction project worth $818 million is located 25 kilometers southeast of the city. Following the completion of the first phase of construction, the airport will have a 4,200 meters runway and a capacity of 1.7 million passengers per year. The runway, cargo terminal, and passenger terminal, with a capacity of 4.5 million people per year, are all anticipated to be completed by 2022. China State Construction Engineering Corporation was replaced as the project's main contractor by Moda Angel Ingenieria e Construco Africa SA. In 2017, work on the project began. 8. Chisagara Thermal Power Plant The Chisagara Thermal Power Station is a peat-fired thermal power station with an output of 80 megawatts that is currently under development in Rwanda's southern province. This project is projected to enhance national power capacity by 40% and provide the country with greater energy independence because it is designed to use 100% indigenous fuel, reducing imports. This 80-megawatt peat-fired power plant will be built on a build, operate, own, and transfer, boot, basis, with a power purchase agreement of 26 years. It entails the design, construction, and operation of peat harvesting and power generation facilities. A second phase of the project includes an additional 40 megawatt of capacity. 7. Kivu Methane Gas Extraction Project In the west of Rwanda, there is a secret jewel full of both fear and potential. Its full potential was untapped only a few years ago, its basic nature was misunderstood and it was regarded as a disaster waiting to happen. It's Lake Kivu, a 2,700-square-kilometer lake on the border of Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The lake contains naturally occurring carbon dioxide and methane gas, making it one of only three lakes in the world with a deep concentration of naturally dissolved gases. The other two are in Cameroon. Lake Kivu, on the other hand, has nearly 1,000 times the concentration of dissolved gases as its Cameroonian counterparts, both of which erupted in the 1980s. Lake Kivu has a capability to create between 120 million and 250 million cubic meters of methane gas yearly, with roughly 300 billion cubic meters of carbon dioxide and 60 billion cubic meters of methane gas. 6. Kigali Master Plan 
the new Kigali Master Plan 2050, dubbed Kigali Yaku, and translated as Our Kigali, takes a more fair, flexible, and incremental approach to city development, consistent with UN Habitat principles and supporting the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. It will serve as a roadmap for Kigali city planners as they work to handle a population of 3.8 million people and provide 1.8 million jobs by 2050. SMEC is assisting Kigali in enhancing and updating the master plan produced by Sarbana Churam to make Kigali a city for citizens in collaboration with their parent business Sarbana Churam. It was critical to involve the inhabitants in a collaborative review process. To engage as many residents as possible in the feedback process, a variety of communication channels were used, including meetings, planning displays, public announcements, social media. This is a significant achievement for a country striving to establish itself as Africa's center of excellence for innovative and inclusive urban development. By promoting mixed-use development and efficient land use, providing an integrated infrastructure and transportation network, and ensuring equal access to essential services, housing, public facilities, open spaces, and transportation, the new master plan supports sustainable economic growth and community well-being. 5. Green City Kigali Kigali's green city is a groundbreaking concept that responds to developing global concerns. Cities in Africa are rapidly expanding. According to the United Nations, the continent's population will double by 2050, with the majority of people living in cities. As many people come to the city in search of work and better living conditions, addressing this trend is both a challenge and an opportunity. It's critical that these developments don't exacerbate inequities, poverty, or environmental destruction. Rwanda's government is focused to achieving global goals and establishing standards for sustainable urban development. The green city Kigali will become a model for other cities, the area, and the continent by integrating green building and design, efficient and renewable energy, recycling, and inclusive living. 4. Kigali Innovation City, KIC Kigali Innovation City, KIC, is a master plan, mixed-use innovation city being created on 60 hectares of land in Kigali, Rwanda. KIC will work to foster pan-African talent development and serve as a technology innovation hub. Its concept includes four institutions, office space, and startup business incubators, as well as retail, hospitality, and lodging support facilities. The project is being co-sponsored by Africa 50 and the Rwanda Development Board, and the total cost is expected to be around $300 million. Rwanda's government has promised to offer shared infrastructure as well as incentives to help the ecosystem thrive. 3. Vision City Project, Kigali Ultimate Developers Limited is currently building Vision City, a multi-phase housing development in Kigali, Rwanda, for the Rwanda Social Security Board. With 4,500 units and a total cost of $150 million, it's a no-brainer. It is the country's largest residential housing project ever. In 2017, the first 500 units were built. Rwanda has made significant progress in developing a resilient nation with citizens who have access to high-quality infrastructure and personalized services. The objectives and goals are spelled out in the country's development roadmap. 2. Kigali Arena Kigali Arena the first 10,000-seater arena in Kigali, opened in August 2019, bolstering Rwanda's position as a MICE destination. Kigali Arena will continue to accommodate indoor sporting events, concerts, corporate events, festivals, fashion displays, product launches, executive retreats, board and shareholder meetings, and a sports coach training center. Kigali Arena is a four-story structure with approximately 20,000 square meters of space, including eight VIP suites with private entrances, a commercial and sponsor foyer, numerous public gathering and event spaces, six changing rooms, various team facilities, a fitness center, dedicated press, and media facilities, including a dedicated press conference room, a modern doping control room, and much more. 
Kigali Asaka SGR project. The Asaka Kigali Standard Gauge Railway is a planned railway line that will connect the Tanzanian town of Asaka with the Rwandan city of Kigali. Rwanda and Tanzania have agreed to speed up the implementation of the Asaka Kigali Standard Gauge Railway project, which would connect the two nations by train. Claver Gatit, Rwanda's Minister of Infrastructure, met with Isaac Kamwelwi, Tanzania's Minister of Transport, to discuss and design a plan to implement the cross-border railway project. The two countries agreed to continue discussing finance possibilities for the rail link's construction and ongoing operations. Rwanda is a fantastic country with a lot of development aspirations since it can undertake such large-scale construction projects. In comparison to other African countries, Rwanda has one of the highest rates of emerging plans and concepts that are being considered as time passes. If you enjoyed this adventure, please like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notify button to receive more updates from Africa Reloaded.